I was very confused about a lot of things like at the end of that last tour. I would never want to kill anyone in hot weather. I've been pushing so hard since about 1990 just sleeping on floors and I had this sound in my head that I was trying to get out and I was trying to maintain it and I was trying to hold on to it. We were ready. We've been waiting for you, bro. Fucking bullshit. And I, I just, I just don't do that now. Okay, so we go and we're sitting in the hotel. I couldn't really think of the name of, where, of the hotel. I mean, the hotel, the city that I'm in right now. Going out, there's 20,000 people. They're screaming, they're going nuts. The world, you know, your, your heart is out here and you're going, ah, and you go and you sit at the hotel. God, when you come off that stage, it's up really high and then it comes really low. There's this one very simple lesson that people were trying to beat into my head, which is, let's enjoy what we have and let's live this life that we have now. I just fight that concept, kicking and screaming. And we're all willing to be close to each other as friends. When you're singing to people, it doesn't matter what you're singing, you're still saying, I love you. I definitely like look at people in the eye and I'm, I'm not shy like that. The moments that I remember from a night, you know, Steven, he went into these harmonics this way and we, we really hit it. I just can't understand bands who are like, oh, I hate touring. Touring's such a ball that it's so not rock and roll. And I love going out and playing. You know, my mom said, she said, the only time that you seem really relaxed is when you're on stage. Is there anybody in the band that you just don't want to see? They're all a bunch of dirty fucks. Do you think I'm a good person? <laughs> Would you validate me? Would you pat me on the head and say I'm okay? <laughs> 